the early pace setters, colliders, unexpected table toppers, Amazulu, and fellow front runners, Cape Town City, battle for multi choice disky challenge supremacy today. And it is a wet and rainy day. And so those that have arrived early enough will be occupying all of the positions that are under relative shelter. The captain uh, Kuwait needs to be mindful of the tackles that he's making. This is the second time uh, sliding, making those tackles. We recall earlier on he was a judge for the tackle he made. Best ball of the game so far. And Damazulu do a good job of clearing their lines. Grant, this is the third time around now Amazulu Tiaha attacking through the right wing. It seems as if like Asipaman Danene is having a hard time uh, having to face with the pace of, uh, of Tiaha. Steered in and def deferred by the player, past Jean Amonome and it's Akil de Yaga who gets the opener in slightly fortuitous circumstances but the awareness he showed was top notch as Richard Lovell Smiles on from the sidelines. Joseph Diaka opening the account this time around. Amazulu defense was sleeping and Diaka appeared like a nightmare. That was a bad tackle. It's Duncan Adonis who's gone down. And that's the first yellow card of the game issued here by uh, Brett Hansen, a 25-year-old referee. Decent looking delivery, an opportunity, and a second goal for Cape Town City, again poked home from close range, and the man who's made his way up from the back, the towering centre-half. Made the difference here. It's actually a terrific goal. Had to show fantastic reflexes. The uh, Johannesburg-born Keanu Cupido. This is lovely from Roberts. Oh, clips it through, and that's a good save from Amonome to deny De Yaga. And what a fantastic ball by. Uh, Midfield man. Kiruti. Pass from Diaga, little turn. Nana Akosa Bempa takes it in his stride. Now the ball holds up in the turf, but he shapes to shoot, looking to curl that into the top corner. And the touch from Spomand Lenene takes it away from goal. Don't know if it would have hit the targets, but uh, it looked decent. Yeah, it looked a bit decent and it took a deflection on its way out. Okay, it's right boot. Gakpa. Koza. Koza plays it in! And will it land in the back of the net? It won't. It goes just past the upright. But that was a hairy moment for Cape Town City. And the closest the ball has actually gone to getting past Mark Anderson. A little bit of miscommunication perhaps. Nervous moments for Cape Town City, absolutely no communication between Cupido and Anderson and uh, he maybe actually stabbed himself with a dagger but nonetheless he is lucky that uh, the ball didn't go to the back of the net. Anderson waits and it's in! Amazulu pulled one back! That's a good goal from their captain Sandile Kumalo who was right on top of the goalkeeper and he got his head to it first. It is game on. And after that worrying moment, it uh, should have had alarm bells ringing. Cape Town City don't respond in the fashion that their coach would have wanted. Diaka now with the delivery. Onto the top of the net. I think this is the second time around where we nearly saw uh, an on goal. A brilliant ball played in. But now, I did mention the fact that uh, with Amazulu, they don't look convincing when defending these corners kicks. And in the end, in these terribly wet and rainy conditions in Claremont, it is the men from the Mother City who have triumphed via these two goals. 